Greetings to my supervisor and also my panel. Uh, my name is Yuvadashri Jay Kumaran. Metric number B0918103533. Today I would like to present Bachelor Degree Project 2 based on my title, Kettle Farm Wastewater Treatment. I am from uh, BMMB Section 1 student. As we get into the slide. Okay, first one is introduction. Background. Our world is surrounded by 70% of water, but the water is unfitted for human consumption due to the pollution. Pollution happens due to the plastic waste, industrial waste, chemical waste, agricultural waste, farming waste, and also so on. And cattle farming also, uh, one of the pollution that happened to the river pollution. Cattle farm waste is a sub substantial source of noxious gases, germs, and stink and poses a public health and environmental risk. It may cause odor pollution also. So, the problem statement of my study is cattle farm waste water flow into the river, turning the color black or dark brown. It changes the color of the river. Number two, cattle waste produce odor pollution nearby the area. It's very smelly nearby the area of the riverside. Aquatic life ecosystem damage in water. Aquatic life, it means like fish, whatever living things that live inside the river. Consumer get hard healthy water for daily use. We are the consumers. So we will get hard healthy water for our daily, daily use, like uh, drinking, uh, taking baths, for cooking, everything. So uh, another problem is improper wastewater treatment methods or procedure that not implemented or not followed properly. Objective. The objective of this study is to analyze the data feedback from customer survey to design a low cost wastewater treatment system that can be used in all farming and to develop a prototype of a wastewater treatment filtration system to get water before it is drained out to the river. So the main objective is just to uh, collect the data and also um, analyze and also find out the best filtration system, the system only for the, uh, to get the clean water. The scope of this study is wastewater from cattle farm is unconventional source of water. Coconut husk filtration media is used to treat water. Three stages of process of water filtration are carried out, which is primary, secondary, and tertiary process of coconut husk and sand filtration. And degree of treatment of this wastewater is after it's treated, it will directly discharge to the river. Okay. Second chapter, literature review. Okay, before found out the coconut husk and sand filtration, there are the sum of uh, river pollution and water pollution that happened in our country before. The first one is rivers at Johor. It's major pollution due to the damping oil palm and also cattle farm waste, the chicken farm waste. The second one, Sungai Kerepining, it's caused uh, pollution because of the piggery farm and also will cause odor pollution. Sungai Gulam Perlis, it's caused pollution because of the paddy cultivation. Sungai Seminyi and Sungai Langa Negeri Semla also affected with the river pollution because of the goose and duck farms based discharge directly to the river. The next one, Sungai Masjid Tana at Melaka River also polluted because of the catfish pond sewage water and also chicken waste and rotten eggs are discharged directly to the river. The last one is Sungai Kundang at Rawa, the reason one, discharged a biodiesel so that caused uh, pollution and affected people for insufficient of water for few days daily uses. Wastewater treatment. Normally, a wastewater treatment, this is the basic three stages, split into four stages. Number one, physical treatment. Number two, biological treatment. Number three, chemical treatment. Number four, sludge treatment. These four are the basic wastewater treatment that usage to eliminate the sewage, the waste, and also the chemicals. Okay, for the when we look up into the industrial wastewater treatment, each and every type of treatment has the different type of the uh, wastewater treatment methods. But most of the thing, uh, one or two stages only slightly different for each and everything because mainly focus on the purpose of the wastewater treatment. 
For industrial, as we know, it's discharge chemicals, that unwanted chemicals is released to the river. So in this case, brine treatment is reduce the liquid waste volume or residual solid are involved. So this treatment eliminate dissolved metals such as sodium, calcium and any other ions. Okay, based on the study, cattle farm wastewater treatment, we can treat it with reverse osmosis treatment, uh, RO treatment. It's a modern, it is a modern treatment, wastewater treatment technology uses selective barriers to absorb contaminants like the salt or solids. And also ozone treatment also uses for cattle farm wastewater treatment. Ozone treatment entitles a regulated tank to administer a high concentration of ozone dose. So, these are the example of wastewater treatment apart from that I mentioned just now, that study before. First one is artificial wetlands, so absorbed by the plant roots and filter the layer. And also plants also plays the major role to filter the water. And also the last one is aerobic color. This is for calcium chloride mainly focused on to infilter output flow and aerobic column and outlet from the bottom of the column. Okay, next we are going to methodology part. Okay, since the from bachelor degree project one, this is the flow chart that I've gone through. Uh, initially, I get knowledge on this title first, then and then started to know about the literature review, the case study, the earlier study regarding this title, and I conduct a Google survey, cause consumer survey, to know what people expectation and their requirements based on this title. And then generate one design, few design ideas. From that, I choose the best design idea. It is coconut husk sand filtration. Then I do prototype for this semester and analysis. Do analysis on the water quality. How, how quality is the water? Okay. First one, coconut husk and sand filtration. Okay. The selected coconut husk filtration is to increase the filter performance in terms of high filtration rate and longer filter run, filter run. High turbidity removal, making it more suitable for drinking or other appliance. And then the second design, crushed granites and activated carbon filtration. The filtration mainly focus on uh, substrate the made up of many granular particles, which is very porous in its right. So, pollutant may be trapped since the compound has a wide surface area and micro rating is assigned to each carbon filter that indicates the particle size that can filter and remove from the water. For the coarse sand and rice husk rice filtration, the finest model of coarse sand is 3.7 3 to 3.1. So, the average particle size is 0 0.5 mm. So, absorption and the physical encapsulants are used to eliminate the particles and, and rice husk also is a recyclable and it can be formed in the mild husk as a powder or ash, either anything we can use. Okay. From the three design generated, the best design is chosen. Okay. From the study and survey, this design is chosen because coconut husk one is the one of the most effective filter media that can absorb water up to 10 times in water. When it absorbs, the water level it can be purified and remove the dirt from water. It's also a repurposed waste what waste product from a renewable source. Moreover, we can get coconut shells easily in our country, not too expensive by the cost. It's very low cost and time duration to filter the water is short time period. Okay, now we look at results parts. Okay, for the three designs. The prototype, the filtration is done. For the first one, it takes 30 seconds almost. The second design, crushed granite activated carbon, takes 37 39 seconds. And then for the last one, cost and rice has filtration takes 40 to 42 seconds. So the pH is 7, 7.1, 7.2. It is a neutral phase, but slightly different in pH values. For the second time filtration, the time is remains same, but the pH is different. Uh, pH is for first one is remain same seven. For crushed granite activated, it's become seven point zero five, and constant is become seven point one. 
Okay, this is the filtration setup that I've made before I carry out the project. This is the result of the project, the water treated, treated sample I get. Okay, comparison of the filter media. These are the three comparisons, coconut husk, activated carbon, and rice husk. These are the three. Okay, based on this three, coconut husk uh, purify and then filter in a short time of period. And both of the filtration get the pH value 7, this neutral phase. And the water, it's very clear. It's very clear compared to other two uh, filter medias. It's very clear and very nice. Uh, the particles, like uh, small, small particles, are, it's all removed, it's all absorbed by the fiber of the coconut husk. Okay, as a conclusion, uh, based on this study, um, our country facing a lot of issues, pollution is issues. Recently also, our country facing the flood. Cattle farm also one of the uh, reason to make the river pollution. And also, uh, coconut husk and filtration is uh, design. This system is designed to help people and also nature to reduce the pollution. So this system or idea can implement at the farms. So it can apply at the farms. So before they discharge the waste directly to the river, at least this treat water treatment system will treat the water and at least discharge the clean water to the river. So that's all for my part. Thank you.